Come back, guys. Here we go. I have here my channel cat and bullhead fishing pole. It's a medium action pole with eight pound test, so it does me just fine. Uh, real size, it really doesn't matter the real size when you're fishing for channel cat and bullhead. They don't get too big. I mean, a 20 pound channel cat would be like amazingly huge and almost impossible normally. So anyway, um, what you're going to need is sinkers is a big main thing. Here's the one I'll be tying for you in the video, a little egg sinker. But you can also use other sinkers. When you want to go for bigger fish, you might want to use a 4 ounce big flat sinker. That's another thing we use for channel cat fishing. Uh, leaders. A leader is another thing. You can make leaders out of straight line or you can have wire leaders. Um, well, I have seen wire leaders break on big flathead before. It's insane. Uh, hooks. Circle hooks. That's the main kind of hook we use. Here's the one I'll be d demonstrating with you. Not self-setting. But for flathead fishing, big flathead, we use a big, very thick, not going to break, self-setting hook. Um, treble hooks. You can use treble hooks if you want to mix it up. But if you're going to channel, pretty much channel cat and bullhead fish, that's about all as big as you need. One size bigger, if that. Color. I don't think colored treble hooks mean much. I have red. I use them. I get the equal production out of each of them. So yeah. Another thing. Beads. You can buy beads. You can get beads at yard sales. Anything. As long as you have a very small hole, enough for your fishing line, you'll be set to go. Okay, now we're going to tie a set. So first, you put bead through. There's your bead. And then you get the sinker. Take sinker, go through. I usually use egg just because it's real easy to handle with and they go through nice and fine. Now you get second beat. The reason I'm doing this, it slides nice and easy. When you get that catfish to bite, he's going to tug on the line, not the sinker. If he pulls that sinker, he's going to sense something. The beats. The beats stop the sinker from wrapping on the swivel. If it wraps on the swivel, it will get dragged along. You do not want that. The beads will prevent that. Speaking of swivels, now we're going to tie ours on. I'm going to use a Cable leader, I'll usually use fishing line normally. That's a big thing I like to use. Okay, so stick it on through. Take her up. Knots, if you know a good sturdy knot, you might as well go with it. Wrap around a couple times. Go through the bottom. Come out the top. Now you can or can't weigh your line a little bit. I do just because you usually get better knots out of it. You can or can't cut the excess off. I'm just going to for the video. Okay, so here's what we have so far. Our beads and sinker on our lead leader. Look, no matter what. It's not going to get stuck up on there. I can jiggle around all you want, swing it around, it doesn't matter. It's not going on there. In return, it's not going to get pulled by that catfish. The catfish is not going to know about that. All it's going to feel is that line. You can tight line fish this, you can light, you can loose line fish it. Bobber fishing probably not going to work. Now we're going to get our hook. Got our circle hook. Open her on up. Close her back up. Hook. Bam. So here we go. Toss that puppy right out there. Now it's being nice and slow, demonstrating everything. These sets, super easy. You don't need much form. The only things you really do need is 
Well, a hook, line, and sinker, really. The beads are just an extra that help a little bit. You can do this without beads. I've done it in the past, and it works pretty decent. I think the beads just help. Let's see. Takes this off. Treble hook. You do the same exact thing with treble hook. It is not going to really affect it. I think this is my this is my favorite catfish setup just because it's nice and simple to use. You could tie the bigger sinker on. Bigger sinker will not stay down more. If it stays down more, it has less likely chance of moving. There you go, treble hook, ready to go. If you're gonna use bait, I would suggest just for channel cat and bullhead fishing. Worm, chub, chicken liver. Chicken liver is a great bait, but if you do not know how to use it, it can fall off. Uh, worm, you need a big glop worm, really. You do, if you want to get it. And I suggest using a treble hook in that case. You can use circle hooks, but I just think if you use a treble hook with worm, it works a lot better. Better chance of setting. Sharpening your hook. If you sharpen your hook, you have a lot better chance. A way to tell that your hook's sharp, get your old thumb now, get your hook, take it. If it slides across like this one's doing right now, nice and easy, it's got a bad hook. But if you go and it catches, like, like it is right now, you got a sharp hook. Just every time you go it catches, you got a really sharp hook. If it's not sharp, you take a pile and you go three directions, just a little bit, and you keep going until you get that sharpness. So with that, everyone, I'm going to say goodbye after making you a catfish set.